Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's toy review is going to be a small product called the Fat Ivan, not to be confused with. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Ivan. And what this is, is basically a doorstop. Um, so something like this. This is what I keep in my truck. I keep a couple of these in the little compartments on my door uh, so that if I ever go in somewhere and I realize I'm going to need to hold a door open for a period of time, I'll grab one of these and take it with me, but that's the problem is sometimes I need one and I don't know that I need one. So then if I go in and realize I'm going to need one, I have to go all the way back out to my truck uh, to get one of these. And that's kind of why I wanted this. I saw this on a backpack loadout by Trevor Lee. I uh, decided I wanted to pick one up because I like the size of it. You know, compare that to a normal doorstop. I'm not going to waste spots in my tool bag for this, but this is so compact. I can obviously just find me a spot somewhere in my tool bag, whether it was in a pouch like this, a little slot, keep that in there. So then that way, as I'm walking in, if I realize I need to hold a door open, I'll just pull this out and stick it in there. That's what I really like about it more than anything. And that fact that it does work. And basically on the size wise, just to give you an idea, so you'll know, uh, you're looking at from the top of the silver piece to the bottom, you're looking at four inches, the body of it's three and three quarter. And then you're looking at about an inch and three quarter this way and then about an inch deep so very compact and then this is in its closed state even comes with a couple magnets here so that when it's not in use maybe you're going to take it from a door off a door and put it back and forth on it's got some magnets so you can stick it to a metal door or a hinge or something like that in this position but how you use it is you open it up and then you just slide this over top of any hinge. So if, as, long as, you, as long as you have a hinge, the only doors that these won't work on is a door that doesn't have hinge like this. So like a storefront door that's got the pins at the top and the bottom, you know, you're not going to be able to use this for that. But it just slides over this part of the hinge. So again, it doesn't matter if you're looking at a residential hinge, a bigger commercial hinge, whatever it is, it will still slide over it. And then as that door tries to shut, this pins itself in there and it won't let it close. And I tried it on a door with a closer just to make sure it had enough power to do that. So you can see me putting it on a metal door here with a closer. As I got the door all the way open, uh, the, it still stayed at 90 degrees. You know, even with that closer, putting that force back against it. And, and then here it is, me putting it on a residential size door and just a normal hinge. And it's holding that door open. Of course, most of those doors should kind of hold themselves open unless they're installed to where you know, they're out of plumb and then they're going to shut themselves or whatever it is. But you could still use this for certain things. Maybe you want to, uh, uh, you painted a door and you want to make sure it doesn't shut because until it dries, you know, you could put one of these on to keep somebody from being able to shut a door, uh, things like that. But it, they're going to run you about 20 bucks. So I don't think that's a bad price for what it is. It seems like it's really well built. Uh, they really market these towards like a fireman and things like that. Uh, but then you can also, I think, get two of them for thirty-four ninety-five or something like that. They come in multiple colors. I know they got black, green, orange, white, uh, maybe some other ones. This one's red. Of course, I got red to match my stuff. And it's made in the USA. You know, that's their tagline: is keep that door open. And then easiest way to keep doors open. So I think it's pretty useful. Again, I can see uh, times whenever I want to paint a door don't want it to shut also if i'm going through a door carrying in supplies and maybe it's a door that has a closer and it keeps shutting itself and even then especially if it takes a key or something like that just to save myself from having to do that and then these don't work sometimes on certain doors because the height you know maybe that door's cut off too much this fitting on a hinge doesn't matter uh whatever it is and then that saves you from maybe if you go in there and you don't take this and then you need to prop a door open and you don't have something like this, many of you are probably going to grab one of those, a screwdriver or something and wedge it under that door. But, you know, sometimes that might damage a floor, could damage a door. You don't want to do that. This thing kind of saves that. And then also uh, outswing doors where it's over top of a porch or a set of steps. There's no way that you'd be able to use something like this on those. And again, if it goes on a hinge, this thing works. So, I think it's pretty useful. Let me know in the comments below if any of you guys have been using this over an extended period of time, how much you have found it to be useful, or maybe there's some other product out there uh, that y'all are using that works for the same way for your door stops or door chalk, I guess is what you might want to call this one. Uh, but I think it works really well. I'm pretty tickled to be able to have it, have it in my tool bag. Don't have to go back out to my truck just to grab one of these. 
Uh, it's going to be useful for me. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Hope it was useful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video.